that's what a new iit has come up with the computer science and the data science course it all began with iit chennai and slowly other iits started catching up and many new different varieties of courses which do not require je and even sometimes don't even require that 75% attendance well some of them are purely online some of them you know probably even require some bare minimum you know offline presence which gives you a feel uh, of you know being in the iit campus and that you know uh, probably uh, adds some lot of value because when you are in person uh, things are quite different so this new breaking announcement for all the students who are passing out of 12th and even for the future aspirants and even students who have passed out long time back uh, i will give you all the piece of information uh, that will help you you know understand what this course is understand what you can get what are the placements like what are the future prospects who should join who should not join what are the eligibility criteria everything but first smash that like button because i am going to reveal what that iit is any guesses fragnite sabina everyone out there in the chat box any guesses what which iit is this well let me reveal it is iit patna wow sir iit patna what is so special what is uh, you know ranking sir what what is the reputation of iit patna everything let me tell you first about that it started in 2008 so it is a relatively newer iit no it is not jodhpur it is patna yes correct very good some of you guessed it hi sai welcome nrf ranking is 34 which is quite decent it's the best but not bad either anything below 50 is good uh, okay it's in patna bihar okay some of you do not know it it's a decently sized campus 500 acres is huge okay this is uh, at par with iit bombay and uh, chennai and other iits big iits in fact iit delhi is very small if you know anyways having said that many of the other journals and uh, publications have given very good rankings and ratings for iit patna so it's a very good iit so rating is there reputation is there yeah it's not as far as kanpur kharagpur uh, delhi bombay and chennai that is something which is unbeatable at least for the next couple of years but in the newer generation of it it's very good reputed but sir then why should we join this course sir what are we really going to get see now there are two things which are offered one is the four year course which is bs the second is a five year integrated course which is bs plus ms now remember b tech and b tech plus m tech this is like that but this is not a tech degree this is a bachelor science and uh, you know master of science kind of a degree now some of you will be like sir b tech degree is more better than uh, is better than uh, batch bs degree oh, yes agree but tell me one thing when many students study in iit in india and then they also go abroad for not m tech they go for ms in us or canada or australia and so many other places so over there it is called master ms degree it's not called m tech m tech is there in india so you know this labeling and this uh, degree uh, you should not bifurcate it like that you should always go by the alumni the reputation the placements who what kind of people are going there what kind of networking i'm building what kind of knowledge i'm getting skill set all these things matter so don't go so much on that name yes b tech in general in india that mindset has built up that it has more value having said that artificial intelligence and cyber security this is one thing and computer science and data analytics so two kinds of specializations are there and in integrated again ai and cyber security and computer science and data analytics which is very good now if you are wondering sir cyber security is it really a good branch let me tell you it is one of the top 5 branches or top 5 specializations which are required in the world right now even software development is not so much it's more about cyber security because there are so many security vulnerabilities and issues which needs to be fixed and needs to be constantly updated so many attacks spam so many things are there even in the smallest of the smallest things and computer science is a evergreen mother branch and data analysis is obviously there in almost every industry that you talk about be it aerospace be it cars be it machinery be it a proper it company it is there 
Now, the BS degree, the best part is you can leave the course at any point of time. What does it mean? So, I don't think I can do it. Fine, you leave it after one year, you will still get a degree. But that will be called foundation degree. Sir, I could do it till two years, you'll get diploma degree. I completed three years, you'll get BSc degree. You complete four years, you will get BS degree. So that flexibility is there. Because usually what I've seen, many people enroll, but they feel like, okay, after two years, three years, okay, enough, I'm done. I want to specialize in something else. Fine, that three years should not go waste. You should still get some degree. So that is the best part about it. It's not like you have to complete four years. So that flexibility is there. Now, what are the electives? What is the meaning of elective? Elective means what are the different choices of internal subjects I can take? When you write JE NEET exams, what happens? You have to compulsorily take physics, chemistry, maths like that. Electives means optional subjects. So you can take things like computer science, engineering, data science and engineering, software engineering, product management and generative AI. Generative AI is like you give a prompt okay i want a cat dressed in a superman suit which is flying in the air that is generative ai it will generate a picture or maybe a video product management okay i want to create this app or i want to create this product i want to create this coffee machine which will be uh, uh, you know linked to my phone as soon as i wake up the alarm rings the coffee should uh, be made this ingredient should be added if the coffee beans are not there it should send an, a notification to amazon and you know it should uh, parcel the coffee beans to my house so it's a product so product managers are there again in almost all the sectors that you can think of okay software engineering data science and computer science engineering these are the traditional branches of it or computer science anyways having said that this is hybrid mode okay this is hybrid mode how to qualify i will tell you sabina hold on hold on environmental engineering i don't think so i'll just come to other things maybe you can put it up in the comments for now i'll just focus on these two branches it's a hybrid mode means online is there and a offline that means you need to go with uh, the campus go on the campus also but that is optional dual specialization that means you can choose between ai cyber security and cs data analytics also you are getting the theory which is relevant in the actual company Actual company is using some technology, you are learning outdated, no point. You are learning actual problem solving skills. And 100% internship and placement assistance is given. It's not complete. See, don't get misguided. I'm not here to misguide you. I'm saying 100% assistance is given. I'm not saying 100% placement. Okay, so be careful. Okay. Next important thing. What else I found out? See, 20% on campus engagement will be there. Uh, that means you might have to go to the campus and you it's like you are learning over there you are participating in different tech fest cultural fest etc okay seminars expos and these are very common in iits every month there is some or the other major event happening in iit either some collection of companies have come you are showcasing your projects or sometimes some investors are coming and they are seeing what we can do or sometimes alumni meet is there sometimes a technical fest is there cultural fest is there inter iit sports events are there college gathering is there something or the other will be there which will always you know give you that opportunity to network to find your relevant uh, things which you can uh, make your career into to have contacts everything you are getting access to also the labs libraries and the innovation hubs in iit patna you are also getting to interact with the people out there and also the faculties and the teachers so that is really good i mean networking in iit okay now also one important thing which i saw on their website was that you are also getting accident and health insurance for the student and the parents who are a part of this course now this is actually a feature which is given to all iitians so the moment you are in iit you know if you fall sick the treatment everything becomes free Okay, you are given insurances in all these premier institutes. So, this is also a facility which is given to you. That is cool. You can still be studying in some maybe private college, but you are getting IIT degree plus you are getting health insurance. And you are getting Gymkhana, e-Gymkhana membership. Also, you are getting in IIT Patna. And all the other features like e-library. So, the library access is there. Placement cell support. Cultural fest is there. Uh, you are getting all the other, uh, you know, industry standard skills 
uh, it's compliant with NEP 2020 policy, everything, whatever other features I've put it up for here. But these two are very unique, which I really love. How will the degree look like? This is very important. Sir, please tell me how the degree looks like. Indian Institute of Technology Patna, IIT Patna is coming over here. Four year Bachelor of Science. This looks like my degree only, man. Okay. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Data Analytics. And whatever. It could be different course also. Your name, this day, everything will come. This is how the degree will look like. Okay. It will come from registrar and the director of IIT Patna. This is cool. So placements are there. How many companies are hiring right now? 100 plus. This is exclusively talking about this particular. Okay. Not any other thing. And around 861 students got internship in the first year itself. First year itself. 800 plus. So there are thousands of students guys already looking forward to this courses. So people you know you should definitely keep your options open see so many nice companies are there be it samsung texas instruments atlassian salesforce google all these are top notch companies see many people will know google but some people will not know other companies but i'm telling you these companies are top companies once you get into these companies many of them have branches in singapore or hong kong or europe or us and canada all other, uh, uh, you know, these are all multinational companies, most of them. So it's also easy if you're looking your way forward by climbing the ladder and maybe settle abroad. You want to get a promotion, you want to go to a higher post and, you know, you want to settle abroad. This is also uh, another unique way. Many kids do this. Okay. It's not necessary. You have to study abroad and then uh, apply for a job. Many people go into MNCs only thinking that, you know, we can take up some offshore project and stuff like that anyways uh different uh alumni i just uh, gathered it from the website so you know from different companies and they are at decision making positions this is very important when you graduate from a college you should be able to connect with many people okay oh this company oh i know one uh senior of mine in that company i can make a call yeah, hey boys, I am you know junior from this particular batch. Oh, you are that batch, huh? Okay, okay. You know what? I was actually looking for this kind of opportunity. We are building this project, and you know how we can collaborate and figure out stuff. That's it. Your job is done. And they are at good level positions. So this helps you build, you know, a lot of different things uh, in the future. Uh placement data also have collected. Uh, their names have been mentioned. It's not like a time pass, okay? So it's genuine from the website only all the top companies and how they are being uh, recruited. Anyways, having said that, what is the fee structure? This is the most important thing. See, registration for this particular thing is 2,800 rupees. For international students, it's 4,275. So 2,800, very nominal. Semester fee is 48,600, which is also very decent, if you ask me. The total fee is 3,88,800. Alumni fee means you want to become an alumni. You have a lot of other benefits. You get invited, you can network, you get a platform and so many other benefits are there. So that is 6,000 rupees. But give or take around 4 lakh rupees you will need, uh, you know, for the entire four-year course. But if you quit the course in between, then accordingly you will be charged. You will not be charged this much, okay? Then, what is the eligibility criteria, sir? See, this is the best thing. 60% marks in the board examination. So, all the people who do not have 75%, sir, I lost this opportunity in NIT, IIT. Don't worry, okay, you are in a private college. Don't worry, you can still get IIT degree. It's number two. If you are in dual degree, okay, individuals interested in pursuing a dual degree alongside their primary course, that is also fine. Working professionals, uh, you know, aiming to upskill and get a degree, that is also fine. So, don't expect your batchmates to be just students but they could be also people who are already working so any kind of people can basically apply over here so how to apply there is a form pay the fees there is a review which will be done then they will verify your documents and then they will confirm your seat please remember in iit chennai there is a course which you have to undergo and then you have to pass that course and then they will be admitted in this particular degree but here in IIT Patna that is not the case so for all the future tech aspirants innovators 
career focus students entrepreneurship skills you want to develop you want to develop products you want to be a global citizen then this is a course exactly for you okay you will be learning ai machine learning cyber security ethical hacking ai based systems data analytics algorithms database systems and computational theory these are the skills you will be learning and you will be also getting a lot of features because you are from iit patna be it the campus immersion option you will be getting access to industry academia you will be getting the degree you are getting live interaction you are getting on campus interaction ai tools hybrid instruction and also alumni status from iit patna this is very important you will be called an iitian because you will be getting that iit alumni card that is important guys okay so you will be actually an iitian and you can become a software developer data science and analytics engineer cyber security and digital security expert ai and machine ml expert product managers so if you ask me their salaries so even in india the average salaries after few years of experience only goes above 50 lakhs per annum okay it can go up to 2 3 crores also so as you become top developers top product managers it can go very well beyond 1 crore and if you go abroad also the salaries are well about let's say for examples in us and all that it's uh, decently ranged like 1 uh, lakh us dollars to 3 lakh us dollars that is a very good range that's about 2 3 crores okay annual package so this is the kind of placements that you can look forward to over the period of time not immediately okay over the period of time when you climb up the ladder one negative which people said was that you have to maintain 75% attendance that is really a uh, negative so i have to mention that but other things faculties are good that is what i saw online some of the reviews you can also google it so where is the link where is the uh, course link it's there in the description box let me just show it to you as you are watching this video can you see bachelor of science iit patna course okay just click on this particular link it will directly take you to the iit website this is your iit p iit patna website automatically it will go if you google you will not get it so easily maybe so that is why i have put the link in the description box put up your name city everything and say register if you don't have an account or if you already have an account just you can log in okay so this is that degree everything is mentioned all the information their ranking their specializations their details everything what is the introduction how is the certification look like career services partnerships everything gallery all the students getting them okay everything the director's message everything is there on the website so i think this is really cool uh the yes the classes will be online eligibility like i said 60% other than that nothing else you just have to be 12th pass with a uh, 60% yeah uh renu i'll just get to you just put up a comment okay so there is no other exam for this okay without j only you can get it so if you loved this announcement smash the like button and subscribe to the vedantu j english channel so that you keep getting more such updates or else you will miss out and let me tell you the world is moving really fast na huh? and you cannot be behind oh i will follow some random instagrammer and youtuber guys understand you have to be ahead of this race because many people are losing jobs and you if you do not develop these skills even if you have a degree it's not going to be enough so think beyond just your college and degree and if you are even a working professional this video is definitely going to be useful for you to upskill your talents and whatever you have learned okay so thank you so much and thank you for liking and subscribing bye bye take care any questions leave down in the comments yes the link is there in the description